All right, y'all, I have one large can of tomato sauce right on in your bacon dish, all right? Y'all know how I like to do. Quick, easy, one dish, that's all. All right, now we're gonna take some mozzarella cheese. I just shredded this by myself, y'all, all right? So we're gonna put a layer right on top. Uh, I don't have an exact measurement for y'all, but we're just gonna do a layer on top, all right? That's how much, that's the measurement. You got it? All right. Quick, easy dinner, I love it. It's actually one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. Very customizable, all right? So tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese. Next, y'all, I have here some ricotta cheese, all right? Whole milk ricotta. Now, you, instead of this, y'all, you can use cream cheese, you can use cottage cheese, whatever you like, all right? So you're gonna take about about six tablespoons, all right? This give or take, all right? You see, you see the size of my tablespoons. They're probably a little bit bigger than a whole tablespoon, but I don't know. There's never such thing as too much cheese, right, y'all? Y'all know that? Come on now, all right. Oops, okay. Well, that one, I want it to be right here. I want it to look pretty. Okay, I kinda ruined it, but that's all right. It's gonna taste real good, y'all. It's all that matters. All right. Six tablespoons, roughly, of ricotta cheese or another kind of cheese you'd like. All right, at this point, y'all, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. We're going to drizzle right on top, all right? So remember, we just use plain tomato sauce, so there's no seasoning in there. So we want to we season this pretty good, all right? We're going to use a, a little bit of black pepper right on top, all right? Again, to your liking, all right? I think that's good. Now we're going to use, we need some garlic, y'all. All right, if y'all want to use some fresh garlic, be my guest. You can, all right? Sometimes I don't have any lying around my house, so we're just going to put some globs right in the middle. Now, you know what? I love garlic, and that's that. And you know what? I'm also scared of vampires, so vampires don't like garlic. If you put enough garlic in your dish, there are going to be no vampires. I'm just kidding, y'all. All right. I don't know if vampires are real. Do you think vampires are real? I was in New Orleans a few months ago, and they said vampires are real. I'm not really sure what I think about that. All right. So here I have some uh, fresh basil. I chopped this up myself, y'all. I know, I know. I'm getting real crafty, okay? Basil, basil, basil. Mm -mm -mm. Just like that. Y'all, doesn't this look good so far? I think so, too. What else do I need? I think that's it. Oh, I know. Little Parmesan right on top. Okay, so all we're going to do here, again, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of sprinkling a little layer. Is that all the seasoning? I think, oh, you know what else we need? We need some oregano. Oregano, real important. Okay, you know what? I gotta open this so it comes out better. All right, a little oregano. All right, y'all, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes, and I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do next. Y'all gonna love this recipe. All right, y'all, so I took this out of the oven, 350, 20 minutes. So I'm, this is real hot still, so I'm actually gonna leave one of my mitts on, because otherwise I'm gonna burn myself. We're gonna mix this up, all right? We're gonna mix this up real good. And you know what, I kinda actually wanna taste it, because I have to make sure it's seasoned good, y'all. All right, you, 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 you see this is this was kind of a dish that I just like eyeball things, but it's really so good, y'all. Y'all have to try this. And you know what? If y'all want to use like the pasta sauce that's already made and flavored, y'all can do that too. But I just had some canned tomato sauce in my house. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it. Should I taste it? No, I'm gonna burn my tongue. I mean, but I feel like I should taste it to see if it's good. Mm. It's good, y'all. It's good. All right. It's perfect. I did it perfect. All right. We done. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Next here. So I have a, this is about, uh, about, I would say about two thirds of a box of uh what's this stuff called again? Rotini or something? Spirals. Yeah. So we just gonna, we cooked, I cooked these already. So we're just gonna put them in. All right. And now we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the pasta. Just a little bit. Just so it don't stick. All right. A little bit. All right. A little bit. All right. That's perfect. Now y'all. We're gonna mix this up again, all right? Yes, I licked the spoon, and yes, I'm putting it right back in here. You know what, y'all? It's totally fine. I'm at my house, in my kitchen, and I'm making this for me and Fred, all right? So he, he ain't gonna care that I licked the spoon. Y'all shouldn't care either, all right? I know most of y'all don't. All right, look, y'all, this looks so good so far. Quick, easy. So this version, y'all, I'm not putting any meat in, all right? But y'all can. You can definitely, like, you know, doctor this up if you'd like. So we're just gonna make sure this is a good mix. Good mixy mixy. We got one more step, y'all. Y'all gonna love this. I'm excited, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm ready for some pasta dinner. Mm -mm -mm. What do y'all think would be good in here? What kind of meat? Chicken, beef, ham, sausage? What do y'all think? I don't know, all, all of it sounds good. All right, just like that, y'all. That looks perfect, okay. What are we gonna do here next? All right, 
Chives. I got some chives. Uh, I'm not real good at cutting chives. Y'all see how I did this? Okay. Not real good, but you know what? That's okay. I'll go to some pl same place. It's going to taste delicious. Don't matter how pretty it looks when I cut it. You know, those chefs, they go like chop, 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 chop. I can't do that. I'll try. I'm just scared I'm going to hurt myself. All right, chives. Then we're going to do another layer of mozzarella, y'all. All right? Another layer. As much or as little as y'all would like. Um... I, I don't know. I'm kind of undecided. I, I'm not going to do too thick of a layer because there's already a lot of cheese in here. Okay. I do love cheese, but we don't, this is like pasta. It's not cheese with a little bit of pasta. You know what I mean? All right. That's good. I think that's good. Fred, that's enough cheese, right? I think so. All right, Fred. A little bit of Parmesan too, though. We, you know, we got to do this too. It smells delish. Yeah. It's going to be so good, y'all. So good. All right. That's good. And what else we got here? Let's see. I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. A little parsley. A little bit just right on top. All right, y'all. So this is going back in the oven. Oh, I'll put a lot right there, but that's all right. I like parsley. Back in the oven. Do we need more cheese? No, we're good, right? Okay. Back in the oven, 350 for 15 minutes, y'all. And I'm so excited. Y'all are going to love this delicious pasta. All right, y'all. Look at this. I took this out of the oven a few minutes ago, but it's still going to be real hot. All right. So our pasta is done. That was so easy. All in one dish. I love making it. I made me some garlic bread. So you know what? It's time to... Try this. All right, let's see here. This is gonna be real hot, y'all. I'm already nervous about trying it, but you know what, I am so hungry. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be delicious. I'm so excited, y'all. All right, you know what, let's get some of this, a little bit of this, this sauce. I like it. it's real saucy. Real saucy, just like me. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think I should try some. It's gonna be real hot though, so guess what? We gonna stall for a second, all right? This is my favorite part. I just get to talk and y'all gotta listen because you wanna watch me eat this and slap the counter. I know that. So, uh, you know what, y'all? I just got back from Thailand about a week ago and I'm still jet lagged. It's real hard. It's real hard to wake up in the morning. I'm usually an early riser, but ooh, it's been rough. If y'all have any tips for jet lag, let me know because it's been a week and I'm still struggling. This is still real hot, so y'all gotta listen to me talk for another second. All right, I made some garlic bread too, so maybe I'll have a bite of my garlic bread first. All right. All right, y'all, we gonna do it. Mmm, y'all, this is so good. 